Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are back on the jet train once again. Now, uh, it is going to be changing a little bit, as you guys can probably tell. Um, it's not going to stay the way it is. Uh, we need to, like, clean up a few things. This just looks bad. Uh, the way it is currently, I don't really know how to fix this, to be fair, because uh, it's on the inside, but, um, whatever. That needs to be fixed. Uh, a bunch of you guys were also saying about a passenger area? Now, I don't really know how the passenger area will fit, or work, or anything like that, uh, but what I'm thinking we will do is we'll continue this backwards um, to here. We'll make it blocky, like the rest of it, because the rest of it is just a big box, to be fair. Um, and we'll make the little bit on the top a passenger area if we can. Uh, so we're going to have to have a little look at that, see how that works. Um, we might have to do something on the top at the back right here as well. Some sort of, I don't actually know, some sort of area right here would be quite cool. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and uh, get in the build area and we'll see how much room we've got. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the build area, and we are already touching the bottom, I think. Yeah, we're already touching the bottom, and we're already touching the top. Uh, so what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to delete this entire piece, this entire piece, and this entire piece, and these entire pieces, too. There we go, we're going to get rid of all of this, and all of this up to here. Uh, in fact, actually, that doesn't need to happen. That doesn't need to happen at all, but we can get rid of all of these, that's fine. And we're going to replace them with this system. This system right here. Yeah. Uh, then we'll do this up the sides. And we'll do this over the back. Yes. All right, cool. Uh, we will have it be a little bit curvy. Um, so we'll just attach something like this. And whammo, that is fine. Yeah, that actually looks okay, I think. Um, so we need to actually move these doors down as well. We will be moving those doors down. Um, and we need to put the passengers in somehow. Now, I think the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to delete this real quick. We're going to go ahead and grab this, move it all the way to there. Okay, good. Uh, that is leaving a massive area here, actually. Uh, wide open. <laughs> wide open. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and paint this if we can. Do 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 do. Whee! In fact, you know what? I want the inside of this to be brighter. So we might actually go with white instead of this color. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, that makes it a lot brighter. That's good. Exactly what we wanted. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a little look on the inside. And we'll delete this piece. Yes. Uh, we need to also uh, put in a piece here. So we'll grab one of these. We'll fill this back piece in like this. And we'll literally just go ahead and paint it if we can. So paint this this color. And paint all of this this color. Uh, as well as, actually, all of that and all of that. And the roof can go white again. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, you were saying about passenger seats. Now, passenger seats are a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, however, if we have a little area right here. There we go. And we do this. Yes. Uh, we need a way to get up here. Uh, and you'll just jump into this seat, and I think that's fine, probably. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we can actually just jump up through this hole right here. I think that'll be completely fine. And with that being said, we can just put passenger seats in. So passenger seats, we just need some of these to go uh, in here. I'm only going to put them on one side. Yes. One, two. How many can we fit in a line? Three, four, and five. All right, we got five passenger seats. Awesome. Now, we can do with some windows, actually. Uh, we haven't got any windows on this thing except from at the front. So, we might as well put some windows around this piece. I think that makes sense to me. Yes. Alright, paint that. Good. Um, so, the passenger seats are about here. We'll go one, two, three, and we'll do one there. We'll do one here. We'll do one here. And that's it. That's all of the windows we need. So, if we can paint them real quick this color on the interior there we go I think this ends up looking nicer if you um, color in all around the outside of the windows it just looks better um, that was a tip I learned from Sir Murtak a long time ago a long long time ago but there we go there's one in two in and three in 
And that looks very strange. Also, actually, to be fair, we might as well just fill in the roof full of this. Yeah. All right. Make it the same color. Drag it all the way down to the back. Go ahead and do this bit as well. And we just want a bunch of these. Yeah, just pop them all in. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, perfect. That's awesome. So now we can see inside. Uh, we can see that the passengers will be fine. And if we just paint this... Like so, that would be great too. We're actually going to paint the roof of this the same way. Um, for reasons unknown. Reasons unknown. Alright, paint that piece, that piece, this piece, and this piece, and this piece, and these pieces. Actually, no. Oh yeah, that works. That's fine. Alright, nice. Add a button that overloads the engines and makes it explode. Is one of the comments that we've had on Discord uh, to help us with this build. I don't like that. <laughs> Oh, we need to paint this back the right color. So, um, yes, there we go. I want it the same color as the outside rather than the inside. Uh, we'll do this and we'll do this. And then we need to move both doors down. So bring it to this side, bring it to this side, bring it all the way up. Actually, no, we're going to have to do it on one side and then the other. Yeah, one side and then the other. So make it big so we can grab the door. There's the door right there. Awesome. Bring this down. We just want to grab the door and the button, if we can. Show sure we need it to go in one. Okay. Go ahead and cut it. Move it down two. Paste it again. Awesome. And then merge it with everything else. Delete this piece. No longer necessary. And fill that bit in with white. There we go. Fill this in with this color. And we need to paint it again. There we go. There we go. Delete these ones and this one. And that'll do. Yeah, that looks okay. Right, take it back to the other side and do exactly the same thing. Clear content. Yes. Um, make it bigger in some way. Oh, actually, wait. Whoa, what the? I didn't do that, did I? I guess I did. I guess I did. All right, go up to take this up as well. Make sure it's the right size. Yes. All right, cut it. Actually, hold on. Wait, we don't need to take that much. Cut it. Move it down to paste it again. Merge it. There we go. Logicify it. Wait, no. Logicifying has already been done. That process is complete. <laughs> uh, and remove all of these ones. There we go. Yeah. Now that, to me, to me, why is that like that? That's weird. I'm glad we spotted that, though. Um, looks all right. So we'll do this. Think. No, we don't need to do that. Delete all of these. Do. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, right, do that one. And then do this on the end. We obviously need to paint these. That's fine. Delete this one. Put one of these in. And paint this piece this color. Alright, nice. So far, so good. Can we still get into this thing? I wonder. I'm not actually sure. Right, spawn it in. What does it look like? Yeah, that looks all right. That looks all right indeed. Uh, we need to put an extra uh, ladder in there. So we'll do that real quick. Ladder. Here we go. Grab this one. Put it literally just there. Ah, come on. There. There we go. All right. Now we can get in. Awesome. So we'll do that. We'll spawn it in. We'll go inside. Yes. All right. That looks good. That looks okay. Yeah. Uh, they look a little bit strange, but that's fine. We've got all of this. I actually fixed these magnets, by the way, which is a pretty cool thing. And we can jump into the upstairs bit like this. And then you can get in the passenger seats if you need to. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a button instead of a, uh, instead of that. Because um, I think a button would be better. Um, but other than that, we're actually doing all right. These still work. There we go. The bottom bits fold out. And I think I'm going to put the buttons for the top bits here too. Yeah. All right. So if you don't know how to t change a throttle lever to a, um, to a thingy, to a thingy, to a, what am I even trying to say? To a button, uh, then this is how you do it. So we're going to fill that in. That's fine. Uh, this is going to be a separate piece. So you need a switch box which looks like this. You need to hide it somewhere. 
So we're just going to put it underneath. There we go. And you need a... Uh, you need to connect the end of this to the pivots. Yes. Then you'll have two numbers. One is off, one is on. You need to connect the on to a number called one. So get a number. Uh, which you'll find here. It's a singular one. Like this. A constant number. Uh, and we're going to put it right next to it. Doesn't really matter where it is, but there you go. Uh, and that goes on the on section. And that's going to be labeled one. There you go. And that's pretty much how you do it. Then you attach this to a button and you should be fine. Right, so we're actually going to put the button uh, right on the side. We're not going to do it from the outside. Uh, we're just going to do it from the inside because I feel like that is a better idea. Now we're going to make it white. Yes, we're just going to put it right there. Logic it straight to there. And that's it. That should be it. Uh, we need power, of course, obviously. Uh, those need power as well. And this entire thing needs power because for some reason it doesn't have it. Uh, but there we go. The door should now work. So we open the door, jump inside, press the button, the door opens, and voila! Everything is completely fine. It is very fine. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, what I actually want to do though is, because I see a problem, we need to get rid of this, and we need to replace that with literally just, just blocks. There we go. Uh, and that should be fine. Spawn it in again, see what happens. Do, 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 in we go. Nice, now it's actually a little bit more stable. That's awesome. Uh, right, okay. There is another thing that one of you guys suggested in the comments. I can't remember who suggested it. I'm sorry. Um, but it was to actually make these bits on the side fold outwards. I, I think that is a good idea. But at the same time, quite difficult to actually do. Well, not actually that difficult, but still. Should we try it? Let's try it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the side pieces. If you want to see the whole train, you press M uh, when you're in this section. Uh, thank you to those guys that told me that. That is awesome of you. Uh, we're probably going to fold out two sections like this. Uh, so we'll cut it and we'll paste it. There we go. Take it to the other side. Do the same thing. Uh, so clear content. Cut it. Paste it. Uh, we're actually going to get rid of the lights for now, just for now, and we're going to do this. Okay, okay. They need to be put on pivots. Uh, somewhere. So if we actually delete this and this on both sides, delete this and this, get a pivot. Uh, just one of these. Okay, yeah, that's good. Go ahead and connect those to the power. Connect that to the power. Go ahead and merge them with this. And merge this with this. Um, that's fine. Yes. And then we just connect those do, 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 to this. One, two. Spawn it in. See what happens. Might be a bit of a mess to begin with, but we'll see. And then we'll try and drive our little car in. Okay, that one worked. This one, on the other hand, didn't. I think it's trying to fold inwards. No, it's not. It's trying to fold out. It is trying to fold outwards, but... I don't know why it can't? I don't know why it can't. This, I mean, I've done it exactly the same on both sides. So, that doesn't make sense. Alright, yeah, the doors, the doors are seemingly having a, a few issues here. I, I don't know what they're banging into, or anything, but, um... I think it's this piece. Oh, it's that piece right there. Hold on. It is... This This is the issue. This thing. Um, we could attach that to the door, but that makes more issues. If we literally just do this and have a little bit of a weird section, uh, that could be fine. There we go. Actually, delete this piece and put this in. All right. Now we'll just paint that that color. Alright, I think I've done that on both sides. We'll see what happens now. Okay, let's have a little look. Boop. There we go, so it opens fully. Alright, I'm going to push my train out, and we're going to try and drive my vehicle on again. Okay, right, I've spawned it in. Here we go. Let's go ahead and drive around the front. We actually need to open the door and put the brakes on, but still. This thing's quite quick. I don't remember it being so quick. 
That's amazing. Alrighty, I've opened up the doors. I've opened up the doors very big. Uh, in fact, I might need to make the doors a little bit bigger. Like, to include the bottom bit, but we'll see. Uh, let's just ramp it up here. Yeah, I do. I need to include the bottom bit. And in fact, actually, the doors might need to be huge. Uh, for this to work properly, but we'll see. Here we go. Go ahead and ram it sideways. Nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. No sorry. Uh, maybe if we attach the winch, we'd be able to do it, but I'm not sure. Um, also, there is one more thing that I need to do before I forget. We just need some buttons here and here. Um, button. Yeah, and we're going to make them gray, because reasons. Uh, not that gray, this gray. Good. And we need a switch box for each door. Uh, in fact, actually, no. We don't need the buttons, do we? We don't need the buttons. Because if we've got these throttle levers, we might as well just attach the throttle levers to the top ones, too. There we go, one there. And one here. And then this one goes on this door. So we don't need to open up both doors at the same time anymore. Which means this is useless. Alright, spawn it in, see what happens. Bam, 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 bam. Let's run to the back, do this. Do this. Yes! That's awesome! Dude, I love it! Dude, I'm actually really happy with this. So we've actually got a passenger compartment now. Um, the doors work on these things, so we can actually open them separately. Open and close them separately. Um, and the train itself should still work. We've also changed the front door, which... I don't know whether I'll revert back. That doesn't actually do anything. It feels like it does, but it doesn't. Uh, because this whole section... In fact, actually, if I just got rid of this, then that would be fine. But we'd still have to fit through here. So this part of the door doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't do anything at all. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and close this up. And we'll drive it for a second. I need to close this too. Do, 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 do. We haven't actually drove it properly because of these magnets. Uh, but if they're attached on and successfully uh, sealed, then they're good. All right. Car's in the way. Uh, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Let's get moving. Here we go. We're just pushing it. Where did it go? Where did it go? I don't know where my little car went. But anyway, we are still moving. That's good. Our fuel is fine. And our speed is zero. Uh, oh, because I deleted the speedo from the front. Oh, we need to paint that too. We definitely need to paint that. Um, but this thing looks weird. Very, very weird. Uh, but it works. So I'm, I'm actually quite happy about this. Oh, we're going backwards again because of the winches. Because of the winches. Alright, we, we might have to get rid of those winches. Where are they? Is it actually in the vehicle still? I can't see. No, the winch is still here. Is this one? I can't see. No, that winch is gone. That winch is out of here. I don't know where it is. Hot oh, diggity dog. Um, but yeah. So we're going to have to delete those winches or change them to something else. Because our train just boomerangs backwards and forwards. Very, very strange. Um, but anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you guys can think of anything else to do, uh, I'll probably end up adding some lights in this section. Some lights upstairs as well. And, um, I don't know. Just, just trying to finish off the rest of these things. Like, that needs painting. Uh, that needs painting. Um... And maybe some magnets on the floor and stuff like that would be kind of cool. I don't really know. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.